I grew up in a small town, Durand, Michigan, that uh, was a railroad town. My dream was always to be able to get on one of those trains and take off somewhere. And uh, through my work, I've been able to do that. I would classify my work as uh, working in a documentary style. In the same sense that uh, Walker Evans talked about his work, and I was greatly influenced by Walker Evans, he always said that you know, I work in a documentary style, although my work is not documentary photography. And that's how I've always approached work. I'm not the kind of photographer that would wait for the perfect light. Whatever the available light is, that's what I use. When I'm photographing a room, I accept whatever is there. I don't take any lights in. So if it's fluorescent light or if it's ambient light from the outside perhaps or tungsten light, I work with that. Up till very recently, I have only photographed interiors. I have always been in, interested in uh, the kinds of places that people have actually built and designed and, and made some decisions about uh, how things are set up in, the, in rooms. And if you look at the photographs, any of the various series that I've worked on, they're pretty layered in terms of information and uh, content and uh, what they're trying to communicate. Visually, I think they're very straightforward and simple almost. But if you get below that and start digging down into what these photographs are saying, what they're about, then I think it be they become much more complex about culture, particularly the American culture that I live in. The way the Omega Suites came about, and often many of my projects work this way, they're all kind of interrelated. I had been working on corporal arenas and I was interested in the kind of body, the, the human body being in this passive condition where you didn't have any control. Well, the Omega Suites, there is no control. You are totally passive. You cannot control at all what is going to happen to you. Once you have gone into some of these prisons and started to see these, these rooms set up to kill people, I just became totally obsessed with that what kinds of materials are used to build an execution chamber. You know, in one picture of Idaho, they've used the kind of paneling on the wall that you would use in your family room. It's so incongruent with what, what the room is actually about. Because of the subject matter, it has a, the audience of those people who are interested in the death penalty, those people who are interested in uh, judicial issues, and my political views about it are not part of what the work is about. I recognize that it, it is a political issue and it can be looked at that way, and that's why a much broader range of people have been interested in the Omega Suites, even internationally, because of course in other countries they don't have the death penalty and so they still look at us as being fairly barbaric that we do have the death penalty. Field culture started because I live in Indiana in the middle of corn country, corn and soybeans. Even though I only have done interiors, you can't go anywhere outside of Indianapolis and not be confronted with fields. And they're really beautiful fields. But I'm from the Midwest initially. I grew up with farmland all around me. I've always felt very comfortable in that kind of environment. My original idea was that I wanted to photograph big, high-tech farm machines. And that then led to corn and soybean pictures. And pretty soon I found that I was making uh, landscape photographs. So then I started thinking about, well, the fields are now growing energy, you know, whether it's growing corn to be used for ethanol, or here are these electric towers growing up out of the fields. And then, of course, Indiana has become interested in wind power. So I've got these pictures of, you know, these wind turbines growing up out of the cornfield. I think that my work does speak 
to some degree uh, about the future of farming and food production and energy production actually here in the United States. The high tech agro business is it's really going somewhere else than it ever has in the past. Most of my work has always been about the American culture and it's about Americans, how we live. And I'm not necessarily being critical of the American culture. What I'm trying to do is just get people to see the way I see.